What's going on, everybody? I'm Pierce Dalton. And I'm Annie Champagne, and this is your Falcon 5 News. Hey, Annie, you ever run out of money while you're at school? No, why would I ever run out of money at school? I don't really know, honestly, but first, Metro Bank is now open. Go take out any withdrawals you need near the lunchroom. Well, homecoming is just around the corner, and the dress-up days are coming up. On Monday, it's white lies, so wear a t-shirt with a white lie on it. On Tuesday, dress like your favorite teacher. On Wednesday, dress up in your best soccer mom and barbecue dad impression. On Thursday, it's Generations Day. Ninth, toddlers. Tenth is elementary. Eleventh, you dress up like college students. And twelfth, you dress up like senior citizens. And finally, on Friday, dress in your best Falcon gear. Wow, Annie, are you going to dress up? I plan on it. Do you? <laughs> no. Speaking of homecoming, congratulations to the following for making homecoming court. For the sophomores, it's Scout Blanton and Sienna Childers. Juniors, it's Corey McCarley and Cassidy Thomas. And finally, for the seniors, it's Faith Lane, Neela Shukla, Ella Wilburn, and Ella Rydell. Make sure to vote on Camus for homecoming queen. Sophomores and juniors, picture day is October 19th. Make sure not to miss or you'll be a blank page in the yearbook. Now let's go to Landry and Becca for Fresh Talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Fresh Talk. I'm Landry Kilpatrick. And I'm Becca Beaver. And here's what's happening this week at the Freshman Center. FCA will meet in the Dome every Tuesday at 740. Everyone is welcome. Next week begins Homecoming Week for the FFC. We will be having an Advisory Olympics during Homecoming Week. Advisory teams will compete against each other in a variety of activities. The winning advisory team will win lunch for their advisory group. Monday is a hula hoop relay. Tuesday's trivia, Wednesday's a hula hoop pickup, Thursday's Pictionary Challenge, and Friday's tug of war, and Monday's an advisory dodgeball game. The FFC homecoming game will be held on Monday, September 25th against James Clemens. This week, Falcon reporter Noah Yeager asked students what they're most excited for for homecoming. <laughs> Who am I here with today? Carson Brooks. What are you most excited for this homecoming? Uh, I'm excited to just, you know, spend time with people and all that good stuff, you know what I mean? I feel you appreciate it. Yeah. Who am I here with today? Miss Martin. What are you most excited for for this homecoming? The dress up days. Okay, thank you. Who am I here with today? Julia. What are you most excited for for this homecoming? The football game. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Austin Klausbach. What are you most excited for for this homecoming? The football game. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Max Peralta. What are you most excited for for this homecoming? The freshman football game. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, Noah. That's it for this week. Go, Go Falcons. Falcons! Hello, everyone. I'm Ella Cornelius, and this is Interviews with Ella. Who am I here with today? Sydney Hunziker. Maggie Redding. Helen Thompson. Who is y'all's favorite teacher? Ooh, I'm going to say Miss Daly. Uh, Mr. Cole. Miss Croner is my favorite. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Daps for everyone. Daps for everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, who am I here with today? Uh, King Boris the Third. <laughs> King, Bo <laughs> King Boris the Third. I'm back. Back for part two. Who's your favorite teacher? Oh, let me cook for a moment. That's going to have to be Mr. G. I love him. What do you got to All say right, now? Slay. <laughs> All right, Slay. All right, who am I here with today? It's not your turn to clap. <laughs> Who am I here with today? Reagan Fisher. Reagan Fisher. Again. Again, part two. Who's your favorite teacher? Oh, John Jackson. I like him. Oh, I love John Jackson. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Goodbye. Who's your favorite teacher? Either Mr. Townsend or Miss Williams. Okay, that is enough for today. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Destiny Micaiah. Destiny Micaiah. Who's y'all's favorite teachers? Miss Jones. Miss Pale. Thank you so much. Howdy Falcons, I'm Camden Seal with your Falcon 5 weather for the week. This week begins a stark cooling trend as the average high for the week is only 82 degrees while the average low for the week is down to a chilly 59 degrees. At the beginning of the weekend, it starts out partly cloudy with a stray shower possibly in the mix. As you get into Saturday night, it will be a soaker as it will be raining throughout the night before turning over to partly cloudy on Sunday and fully sunny on Monday and Tuesday. Remember to be aware of the cooling temperatures and maybe start breaking out the warmer clothes while working on the homecoming floats next week. That's a look at your weather. Have an awesome week and go Falcons!
What's up Falcon fans? I'm Caden Sledge and this is your Falcon 5 Sports. Last week Falcon football took a trip down to Albertville to take them on for week four of their season. The Falcons came out on top with the score being 28 to 6. The Falcons are back on the road today going to take on Austin. Principal Garth of Austin High School has listed out procedures for tonight's game. Anyone under the age of 14 will not be allowed without a parent or guardian. Students are expected to sit in the stands unless they are utilizing the restroom or concession stand. And there will be no loitering outside the seating areas. Right now the polls are open and will close Monday at 3 p.m. Go cast your vote for varsity football player Kedrick Triplett for this week's Buffalo Wild Wings Player of the Week. It's meet week for cross country. They'll be racing at the Southern Showcase at John Hunt Park tonight and tomorrow morning. They are off to a great season, so this weekend should be no different. Falcon Volleyball was in action on Tuesday at Bob Jones. They went up against the national ranked Bob Jones team. It was a tough fought game. The Falcons played hard, but came up short in the area game. They'll be back in action this Saturday in tournament play at Muscle Shoals. That's all I have for this week for your Falcon 5 Sports. Check back next week for your latest sports news. I'm Caden Sledge. Go Falcons. Hi, I'm Kendall Kilpatrick. And I'm Brooke Williams, and welcome back to What's Poppin'. Getting the bad news out of the way, country singer Zach Bryan was arrested in Oklahoma on an obstruction of investigation charge. He was taken into custody, but luckily he didn't stay long because he was released shortly after the arrest on a $1,000 bond. He made a statement to his social media describing the incident and claims that he acted like a child during the arrest. Well, I'm just glad that he is now out and he can look forward to his newly announced tour. Yeah, me too. As we previously reported, Rihanna gave birth to her second baby boy with her longtime boyfriend ASAP Rocky. Now we have the name for the new baby. It has been announced that the baby has been named Riot Rose Mayers. I actually really like that name. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Also on a happy note, the U.S. Open tennis match has officially ended, making Coco Golf the winner. I was so excited to see her win. She has become the youngest person to win the U.S. Open since Serena Williams in 1999. That is so cool. Another cool thing that has happened recently is Olivia Rodrigo's new album, Guts, has come out. It has 12 tracks, and a few of the songs have already started to spark new reactions and reviews. I haven't gotten the chance to listen to it yet, but I'm sure it's really good. A weird fact to end our segment, Roblox is getting a dating feature for ages 17 and up. That's just weird to me. Me too. I used to play Roblox in 7th grade. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Kendall Kilpatrick. And I'm Brooke Williams. And, and this, this is What's Poppin'. poppin'. <laughs> that's all we got for this week. I'm Pierce Dalton. And I'm Annie Champagne. Go, Go Falcons! Falcons.